Okay, friends and brothers all over the world, uh, this is our brother Fred. He's also one of our Ridge family members, in also in Pakwak district, but a different uh, place from where we have been. So long distance to this place, mm. and we are having also members here uh, that we are discipling. So mm. this is our brother Fred with his wife and the children and he is doing the work here is helping in the discipleship around this village mm -hmm. so when we are in, from the other place we had to come also and visit his home continue to pray for him uh, god has called him to do the work and he's doing a great work god bless you all thank you our brothers in kampala and then uh, the bridge family and then in the u.s uh, this is my our brother Alex. You remember Alex, the one who lost his son, and you've been praying for them. This is Alex, and this is uh, uh, our sister Joyce, Joyce, the wife of Agne. I uh, mean of Alex. So they lost their son, and then they have nine children, as I told you. And these are some of the kids. Some of them are not around with us here. So it is in Alex's house. That is where I'm sleeping when we are in, on mission. Even last time when we came, we were sleeping in Alex's house. And even right now, my luggage is in Alex's house. So he's the one who accommodated me. So you continue to pray for them. Uh, good enough you have seen them. We ask... Uh, you wherever you are to pray for this village uh, this village is where i told you our friend wuto the traditional healer comes from you know and we pray from here they pray from here this is our bridge family here in pakwach now mama this mama you see here she's uh she's a bone of this area she's the one who welcomed the church invited us to come to this village okay and the first time we came she's the one who provided the food and whatever we ate in this village it is this mama this mama is a mother of, of my brother uh richard omio he's one of our leaders here and they are the ones who welcomed us in this village so when you're praying you pray for them you pray for this place there are many things that you're going to hear me tell you about these villages. This, the testimonies are people who gave out witchcraft and come to Christ and many other things that have happened in this village. Not only that, and then we also have our pastor here. Uh, this is Pastor uh, Stephen. This one here is Pastor Stephen. Uh, pastor Stephen is now, I mean, br the, our brother Stephen is the one leading uh, this place here. Is in charge now of evangelism. Amen. Uh, uh, dear viewers who are watching, this is uh, our friend, our brother, Celestio. Uh, the first time we came to this place, that was in Feb. And then he came to Christ. He used to practice witchcraft. He says he's a man who believed that he could stop rain. Mm. And there could not be rain in the whole village. Mm. And then to his surprise at times he could see the rain coming. Then he could wonder which type of God he brings the rain. 
when he believes in his powers of witchcraft. Mm -hmm. He could command the sun to shine over the village. Mm -hmm. Prominent known witch doctor. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. believing in powers of darkness. Mm -hmm. Now he has come to Christ. We need more of your, uh, your prayers for them as a church here in Pakwaj. Mm -hmm. uh, when he came to Christ, he came with the family. Mm -hmm. And the family, they are all fellowshipping. Celestio, they are the owners of the land, mm -hmm. together with Mama. I told you she's a mom of peace. This is uh, uh, our dear brother Richard's mom, mm -hmm. who invited us to this village. Now, this is a brother. She's the elder sister to him. Yes. You get that? And then they have decided, Celestio and the team, to give the church the land to build a house for God. Thank you.